Hi class, my name is Corrine Colin. I am your instructor for FSN 250 Food and Nutrition Cultures and Cult Customs and Cultures. Um, I am not in my office right now due to this COVID situation, so normally this wouldn't be my normal setting for video recording, but you guys are understanding of the situation. Anyways, luckily for this class, we had planned that it would be 100% online anyways, so there shouldn't be too many adjustments that you need to make to continue in this class and understand the material. I realize the rest of your quarters may be a little bit crazy this year due to the COVID situation, so just let me know if I can be any help and um, help you manage kind of online learning and some of your other classes or anything else you may need. So the purpose of this little video today is to review the syllabus and then look at our Canvas course a little bit so that you'll be able to navigate your way through the class as the quarter starts. Um, so you can see I have the syllabus here on my screen. I'm actually going to get rid of my video and so you can just see my voice. Um, but I have the, the syllabus here on my screen. It is 100% online. I have my email. Um, I had previously listed office hours on this syllabus because I made it during the pre-COVID era. I will very likely be able to do some Zoom office hours and they'll probably be in the mornings. Um, so I'll very likely be changing them and I'll let you know as soon as possible when I can update my office hours to Zoom. Um, it should be within the first week of school. You can always email me though, if you need to get a hold of me. Um, obviously we won't be having any physical office hours. This is a picture of the textbook. I do recommend the seventh edition. However, if you really need to save money, the sixth edition is very similar. There's just some slight differences as far as organization of the text pictures included and some census counts from some of the different regions that we're going to be studying. Some of the learning objectives for the course, I would like you to read over those for your own. And since this course is part of the requirements for those students wanting to become registered dietitians and nutritionists, I have listed which competencies that this course meets. Communication, again, let's use email, 100% email. Um, I do have Zoom, and so we can do Zoom conferences if you need to do that. I have FaceTime, we can Skype. Um, I may be giving out a Google phone number in case you need to text me or call me. I realize this is all gonna be a time of learning for everybody as we um, transition to the online. The class is organized into weekly learning modules and it's all on Canvas. And um, since this is an online class that you signed up for, knowing that it was online, it wasn't an online class that you were forced to take due to the situation, I do expect that you have the required materials and technology and knowledge to take an online class. And that being said, I anticipate that you have access to a computer, access to reliable internet, knowledge on how to use the internet, knowledge on how to, you know, create a PDF or a Word document and submit those things online. Um, I may be slightly more lenient this quarter than others, but I still have this on my syllabus. Please do not email me with the fact that you were taking a quiz or doing a discussion or something and your computer broke or the internet went out, et cetera. Um, when you start your quizzes or discussions or anything else where time is important, make sure that your computer is fully charged if it's a laptop, that you have reliable internet, that you can be free from distractions, et cetera. Uh, this is a little bit about online learning. Online learning can be easier for some people. It can also be much harder for some people. And I think when it can become harder is with relationship to time management and just kind of lack of having somebody there that you see twice a week where you can ask questions to and have kind of meaningful conversations. So learning online does take quite a lot of self-discipline as far as you being the one to read the chapters every week, do the assignment, submit the assignments, pay attention in the way that you would as if you were sitting in a classroom with me looking at you and taking the quizzes, et cetera. Um, 
So you can't just treat this class like something easy. I would treat this class as, as if you were actually sitting in the classroom as far as discussion and difficulty will go. Discussion boards. During online learning, I like to communicate with you guys on a weekly basis. So I have weekly discussion boards. As they are set up right now and how I usually conduct them, they are every single week and they are only available during that week, which encourages and kind of makes it so that you need to log in to Canvas every week. This provides two things. One, it provides constant communication between us. And two, it has you logging on. So if there's any important announcements that I've put on Canvas, you'll be able to see those. Um, if there's any changes to the syllabus, you'll be able to see that, etc. And many of the discussions require you to talk to another student or reply to another student. So even though we can't see one another, we can still maybe communicate and share ideas. And that's where some really good ideas come from. So this is a little bit about the discussion boards. Almost all of the discussion boards are due Sunday nights at midnight. And when I grade the discussion boards, I will be writing comments to each and every one of you, um, generally on a weekly basis. I write them in your individual comment section of your graded discussion, however, versus the online forum just due to confidentiality reasons. So it may look like I haven't commented, commented at all on the online forum, but I have actually commented to each and every one of you personally in your discussion board graded section. So do check those out. I spend quite a long time doing them. This is a little bit more about the technical requirements that I mentioned previously. Um, even though we are not in class, I still, request that you be professional, follow classroom etiquette, um, not say anything negative, judgmental, closed-minded, discriminating against anybody else's person or ideas. We may be talking about some sensitive matters in this class. Um, university standard statement on conduct. It is very important that you be good citizens to one another, um, that you're responsible. You can read this in the Title V link that I have here. DRC, if you need any sort of special accommodation, like say extended testing period or somebody to help with note taking um, or something like that, um, let me know or the DRC can let me know so that I can make sure to arrange anything for you so that you can learn the best possible way you can and that I can be accommodating to anything anybody needs. Um, cheating and plagiarism. Cheating and plagiarism are a very big deal, especially in an online setting where it can become very tempting and perhaps easier to do so. I am expect you guys to do your own work and 100% of your own work. Um, I will be checking discussion boards. I will be checking reports that you've written, et cetera, for any sort of cheating, plagiarism, copying, et cetera. You could study together, but due to this COVID situation, I don't know if you really are going to, um, but maybe you guys can do some Zoom studying together, or some Zoom maybe study conferences before the final exam or before quiz, but I do not want people to share answers to quizzes that is considered cheating, um, share information that was on quizzes, or let others copy their work. You can read the full policy at Cal Poly's link that I have here and see what will happen if you are caught plagiarizing or cheating. Grading and assignments. So, this is subject to change. However, I do anticipate it being pretty consistent as far as what I have on the syllabus compared to what we will actually do in the course. We have discussion boards, which I mentioned briefly. We have a restaurant review. Um, this is also gonna be a little bit interesting due to the current situation, and I'm gonna kinda have to play this one by ear. Usually I have you guys go out to an ethnic restaurant or cultural restaurant of your choice and write a review about the environment of the restaurant, the decor of the restaurant, the menus, the place settings, the staff, the, you know, the noise from the kitchen, the authenticity of the restaurant, as well as 
the food, how authentic it is, what it tastes like, what the flavors are, et cetera. But I realized due to the current situation, you may not be able to go out to a restaurant and physically sit in the restaurant to eat. Um, many restaurants are still doing takeout. So we may have to do a takeout restaurant review, which maybe won't be as culturally enlightening, but it still could be a nice treat. Um, if we're all stuck in our homes for this entire quarter. But again, I'll, I'll play that a little bit by ear um, and see if maybe later in the quarter things are starting to let up and you know we're able to go to restaurants, et cetera, again. Research paper is something that is due near the end of the quarter. You can write a research report on any country you want. However, I do highly recommend that it is not a country that the book or myself covered in a lot of detail. Um, it could be a region of a country you've been to that the book does not cover a lot in. And if you want to do a video to go with that, you can earn some extra credit and those videos are usually really fun. Quizzes, there will be quizzes um, every couple weeks and on Canvas I'll show you, you know, which chapters will be included in the quizzes. The quizzes are multiple choice, true, false and they cover information from the reading material as well as from my lecture notes and lecture videos, which I'll get into, but it's very important that you watch the lecture videos. And then your final exam, this is also a very important piece of information. Um, your final exam is cumulative. However, about two thirds of the final exam material, uh, that's actually about a third of the final exam material has come from similar questions on quizzes. And so if you pay attention to your quizzes, you might see similar questions, maybe just in a possibly different form on your final exam. Once you have taken a quiz, you cannot go back and review it for um, reasons just to protect academic integrity. So just, you know, be aware of what you're seeing on your quizzes and prepare for the final exam. Now we're coming to kind of the calendar part of this syllabus. Ooh, and as I'm looking at it, I realize already that I'm going to need to do some adjustments to the dates. So ignore the dates for this first week. What I'm probably going to end up doing is, since our school is not starting till April 6th, we'll have chapter one and two be due April um, that first week, which is going to be April 6th through April 12th, and we'll have chapter three and four be due the second week. Um, so ignore this very first part of the syllabus. I will be updating this and sending out a new one before the class starts. Obviously, I was trying to get ready ahead, get ready ahead of time, and it bit me in the butt a little bit. Um, but that's what we're going to have to do. Unfortunately, we now have only nine weeks to cover the same amount of material, so we're going to have a first few weeks that are very, very busy. That being said, if I can get this class out a little early, I will. Um, and since you can work at your own pace a little bit, that should be that should be good, but that's what I'm gonna have to do here is take this first week's assignment and push it to the next week. Um, as you can see from this syllabus, almost everything is due Sunday nights by midnight. If something is not due Sunday, I've highlighted it. Like you can see this yellow Thursday, that will be due um, between April 6th to April 12th now, and that's an intro activity. So that will be one of your first activities. Um, other highlighted things, I only accept work up until the end of dead week. So once finals week hits, I don't accept any late work or extra credit or anything like that. So you need to turn in all your work by the end of dead week. Um, our finals week, we have some due dates that are Wednesday, just due to the numbers of chapters in this book. And then of the final is due by Friday of finals week. You can technically start your final anytime, um, but it must be done by that date. Syllabus change policy. I'm so glad I put this in because I'm already having to change it due to our extended spring break. Um, 
I probably won't change it that much more than I'm doing right now. And obviously this is a forced change, but I just wanted to put this here. I will email announcements, et cetera, if I have to change anything else. So now that we've seen the syllabus a little bit, I'm gonna take you to our Canvas page. Again, note that for week one, I'm gonna to need to change some of these dates because I was not anticipating um, COVID situation, as I'm sure many of you guys were not as well. So I'll change some of the dates for week one. Um, in the intro though, you will see the syllabus, which I'm gonna update. You'll see a little bio on me. I forgot to really even introduce myself. Um, anyways, check out my bio. I'm a registered dietitian. I'm local to the area. I've been teaching at Poly six years. Um, I love food. I love traveling. I've traveled really, really extensively, um, but I still want to travel more. And you'll see a lot of pictures of me and stuff traveling and my family and some of the lectures. And there's places I have traveled to, which I haven't had time to do videos for yet either. Um, there's also some help with Canvas and getting started. I realize many of you guys may not have used Canvas before. I think once you get started, you'll find it easier than PolyLearn, um, but I know anything new can take a while to get used to. So there's some help with Canvas, and of course you can email me. On the left-hand side, I may be posting announcements. You can click on assignments, discussions, grades. Some of these things will probably go away as the course gets started. There is a syllabus link on the left. It's blue. I would not use that. I would use the printed syllabus instead. Sometimes the syllabus link on the left, even though it's supposed to sync with what I've uploaded, it doesn't always do that perfectly. So use the printed syllabus instead of the actual blue link on the left side of the screen. How the chapters and stuff are going to be formatted. Um, if there are multiple chapters due per week, I'm going to try to give you a little note about that. And then each chapter is going to have a video lecture, PowerPoint slides, and PDF slides. The first two chapters, I have a PDF version of the text, just in case you haven't gotten your textbooks yet and you need to do some follow along reading so you can utilize that. Um, the video lectures, I highly, highly recommend that you watch them. I don't think you will do very well in the class without watching them. What I would do is I would go to the PowerPoint slides. I personally am a paper person, so I would print the PowerPoint slides. And then I would watch the video and take notes on the PowerPoint slides. What you will find is that the PowerPoint slides have some missing sentences have some fill in the blank type stuff but if you watch the video i tell you everything that is missing and i make some important notes and i highlight some things that you definitely would want to know for a quiz or a test um, also the recorded lecture videos have a lot more pictures than the uploaded slides just because Canvas actually has a limit to how much data it can hold. And so I can't put PowerPoint slides that are super heavy in information um, on Canvas. So I've taken out some of the pictures from some of the PowerPoint slides, but on the videos, you'll see all the pictures. Next, I have additional videos and links. Sometimes the videos and links are just for your interest. They're all things that I've found really neat and interesting. Sometimes the videos and links have to do with the discussions. And usually in the discussion or in the videos and links, I'll say something like, please read this or please watch this so that you're able to do the discussion. And then there are the individual discussions or assignments that are due each week. Um, and you can click on them. And again, I will be changing the dates for this first week, but it gives you instructions on what to do for each discussion. And then what you'll do is you will type in a reply right here. I'm just going to type in test and then you're going to post your reply. Um, some of these have encourage you to respond to another student like this one. So if you see another student, you can reply to them again, being very respectful, of course. Um, and once you have done everything in here, I'll be able to see it so that I can grade it. You can go back to 
kind of the page that we were on, scroll back down to that chapter, and then we'll come to another chapter. So this particular chapter also has a discussion, and some of the chapters at the end of them will have quizzes. I'm not gonna click on this quiz now um, because it will show you it, but when you are ready to take the quiz, make sure you have all your notes in front of you and have reviewed them because they're timed, and then um, click on the quiz. So you will take the quizzes, they are timed, they are due at a certain point each week, okay? Um, other things I would say, there will be some times when there are additional assignments, and I'll put those at each week. Um, I have a bonus discussion board here. Um, here is the ethnic restaurant review, 30 points. It's currently due May 10th, so there is a good chance, I hope, I hope, I hope that maybe we're out and about by May 10th, um, but again, I'll keep you posted on that. Anyways, that is the majority of what I have to say here um, and an intro to the class. So again, I really, really, um, I'll turn my video back on. I really, really hope you enjoyed the class. Um, I love teaching it. I think it's a really interesting class to take because you not only learn about different foods, but you learn about different cultures and different traditions. You may be inspired to try some new recipes, especially since we're all stuck at home. Um, you may be inspired to travel in the future, not now, but there are really good plane tickets right now. Um, hopefully we'll be able to travel in the future. Um, you, you will learn a bit about nutrition as far as like macronutrients, vitamins, BMI, DRI, that kind of stuff goes. But really this is more about food habits and food cultures and communication among cultures. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for understanding the little hiccups with my syllabus. I will have those fixed before the class starts. And, you know, we're all just kind of in this together right now. So um, I'm here for you. You guys are here for me. We will get through this together. And I hope you learn a lot and like this class. And um, email me. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks for listening. And bye.